What's going on everyone? Ryan Meeks here with Escape to Arizona. In today's video, we're checking out Papago Park and we are gonna walk to none other, or I should say hike to none other than Hole in the Rock, which is right behind me right here. And it's a pretty quick walk, guys. I, I think this video will take like five to eight minutes depending on how much I ramble, but it is pretty quick in and back. And we're gonna start, actually we're gonna go over to this side. It's a little bit of a steeper walk. And then we're gonna hit the other side coming down and that's more of a uh, mild sloped walk. So if you have issues, I'd say, Go on the left side over here when you're looking at the hole in the rock. And if you like more of a challenge, go up and down this section over here. But it's a lot of fun. You can see there's a lot of people up there actually already in the hole. And these people are freaking brave. I don't know how they're doing it. We got a bunch of cars coming in. Uh, I guess it's like peak time to, to visit right now. But um, I parked a little bit further back. And now I'm just going to take a walk up here. And, and we're going we're gonna to go to the hole in the rock, guys. I'm excited. All right. Heading on in, we got the uh, Waymo self-driving car, by the way. That's what that guy's yapping about over there. He's got the self-driving car that's, look at this thing. That thing is cruising right there. Oh, and I think it's gonna park. We'll see. Waymo self-driving car right there, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody driving that thing. Check this out before we go in. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, I don't mean to block you there. But look at this, nobody's driving this thing. And that's what you see here in Tempe, Arizona. So this gentleman's getting into it and uh, nobody's driving it. Self freaking driving, how cool is that? All right, it's probably, and there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> Someone said, how does that even work? Oh boy, no idea. Insane. I did nothing in Wyoming or something. Yeah, yeah, I mean, for sure. Why? I don't know. I don't know. It's why? nuts. Like you don't have to tip that way, I guess. Yeah, it's... <laughs> not going to have much of a conversation either. But maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, these days. <laughs> all right so here we are hole in the rock trail we can see everybody up there they probably all came in their waymo self-driving cars actually probably not because this parking lot is packed and by the way parking here is free look at these views here so we can see uh to the south there that's going to be south mountain right there got some great hikes going on over there as well and uh, we'll, we'll check out some more stuff to the north, but there are some other uh, paths that you can take this way as well. So this is, this is super exciting. A lot of families, you can see some small kids here as well. Oh. All right. So we're around 5,300 steps when I started. I'll let you guys know at the end how this is going. I do have some new shoes here, which I'm not super excited about getting dirty, but we'll see how they look at the end. You got a lot of this red sand and uh, I've been through. I've been through worse with these shoes. I'll be honest, but I think I'll be okay. We got some kids over there. Mom taking some family portraits. I have on my windbreaker coat, which is getting to be a little warm right now. I think I'm going to take it off. No drones over here, so unfortunately, there's a city code that says I can't fly my drone here. But look at how amazing this is. Okay. You can hear the planes. You can see Hunt's tomb over there to the south, pretty much. Check that out. That's where the first governor is buried with his whole family. He just got everybody to get the hookup to get buried in that white pyramid. You can see the different uh, lakes that we have here. Three different lakes, about six acres of fishing. And then the Phoenix Zoo is gonna be like right in that area as well. You're gonna park over there if you're going to the Phoenix Zoo, but a lot to do here. You can definitely spend a day. And uh, it's kind of cool because you're real close to Scottsdale and you, you're close to Tempe as well. So if you're visiting a college kid, you can come on up here and take a quick hike get back down for lunch. It 
So it's about, like I said, noon, mid-February. It gets pretty chilly in the morning. And then it gets warmer throughout the night. So you can see it's going to be Scottsdale over here, Mesa further down that way. We're looking to the east right now. And you can see, like, in the background, this camera's got an awesome zoom. Four peaks right there. And then just the McDowell Mountain Range to the left over here. And uh, you can see Superstition Mountains kind of over there in the background. Pretty cool. All right. She didn't want to be on video. All right, so so two trail. We're heading over here, and uh, we're going up. Cool formations over here. Got some fencing so people can't go further. And this is probably going to be the hardest part of the trail right here is going up these stair-like objects, and I believe they're called rocks. Um, this is your typical hike in Phoenix. I mean, if you if you're going, usually it's not man-made like this, but uh, you know you're gonna have some step ups getting up to any mountain. And this place is packed today. A lot of people here. Let's zoom out. Whew. Hello. taking my coat off here guys bear with me Whew. all right it's getting a little warm pardon my breathing oh. Hi. all right heading on up here Let's see I think we're gonna go this way There we go. And there's camel back right there. <sighs> right here, camel back. All the homes up in camel back there as well. Looking down this way. Whew. Look at how many people are coming out. Definitely easy to lose your footing, so you gotta be careful. And there's the hole right there. It didn't take too long. I think that's a record time for a hike. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go through here. Look at all this stuff right here. Oh. Okay, yeah, a little chilly, a little chillier in the shade, that's for sure. I need to put my coat back on. And will you see this view when you look out of this hole? This out. Pretty amazing. I am blocking the hole. Nobody can get in or out. <laughs> that is sure the plan. <laughs> Before I puff my feet. Yeah, you're good. Go for it. <laughs> awkward climbing. Yeah. I don't think any type of climbing is not awkward. That's true. Unless you're Spider Man. That's true. All right. Oh, this got a little stairs here. Yeah, we can just stairs. go down. Yeah, look I at just, this. I like to you just like down. to go the hard way. Yeah. Great. All right. Whew. I think whoever put those in. Look at this. Okay, it looks a little scarier from the, like, it looks a little scarier from over here. It's not too bad. Like, I feel like I could walk there, but I'm not going to. If someone watches this, they'll get really mad at me. I'm not going to mention any names, but how cool is this? Super awesome. Somebody left their uh, Polar Pop over there. Pretty gross. So in here you have a lot of different trails you can go through. And even through the uh, in between the parking lots and stuff. But you can see how close parking is from here. And once again, there's South Mountain all the way in the background. 
and then you can see Tempe over here. Oops, sorry. Tempe is going to be over here. Oh, geez, that's half. There's Tempe, downtown Tempe. Okay. And we're going to quick, quickly swing it around so that we can see downtown Phoenix straight over there. Oh, that's not it. Hold on. Hold on. Downtown Phoenix right there in the background. There we go. And then there's like north side of Phoenix over here and some cool trails and more mountainous structures. There's a golf course right below where I'm filming as well. If you guys wanted to get around to golfing, you can go ahead and do that too. You can see all the cars at the Phoenix Zoo today as well. And yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna go a little bit further down. If I fall on my butt, um, you know, someone catch me here. This is, this is about as dangerous as I get, guys. This is it, but very cool. Got some people taking pictures up there. A lot of people just hanging out. This guy's doing the business call on his phone. It's very cool. All right, so we're gonna take the easy way down, which is gonna be basically coming down around this side from uh, from the mountain here. But I, these views, I just wanna take it on a little bit. Roughly 550 steps is all it takes to check out this uh, really cool feature here. Really cool hike in Phoenix, Arizona, guys. Ryan Meeks here, your Phoenix real estate agent. I uh, would love the opportunity to help you guys, so make sure you hit me up here. And we're going to go check out Hunt's Tomb. Make sure you subscribe and check out that video coming up next.